Happening today, activists are planning a series of protests after an encounter between a woman at Walmart and Homewood Police and the entire situation and much of it was caught on camera. Officers had the woman handcuffed on the floor of the store for 30 minutes as police conducted an investigation of theft. CBS 42 News reporter Alex Finney live in Homewood with the latest. Alex. Good morning, Art. I did reach out to the Homewood Police Department about this planned protest today and the investigation. I have not heard back yet, but we do know that they have publicly apologized for that incident at Walmart last week, and right now they are conducting an internal investigation. Meanwhile, just yesterday, the National Action Network and the Outcast Voters League sent us a press release, and in there, they lay out exactly what they say was unjust and unfair treatment by the Homewood Police Department. Now, now, of course, the protest that's going to be happening here today at noon will hopefully answer a lot of questions that people have. Uh, we know that uh, the woman who was wrongfully accused, uh, she was wrongfully accused of stealing a shopper's wallet and was detained by police on Friday at that Walmart. And today, people will be uh, gathering in front of this, uh, of Homewood uh, City Hall, and they will be um, laying in front of the building to symbolize what that detained woman had to go through on Friday. Now, we do know that she refused to let police search her pocketbook, and of course, uh, they, of course, are going to be releasing more information as well. But talking about that video that you did just see, we know that it has had close to half a million views on Facebook and has been shared over 13,000 times. So we're going to be learning more, of course, in the coming days as this investigation continues. For now, live in Homewood, Alex Finney, CBS 42 News.